Solve 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 equals 0, given that x equals 3 is a root. Since x equals 3 is a given root, we can say x minus 3 is a factor. Let's do synthetic division. So let's write that down on the side here. So we have all of the coefficients. x cubed is 2, x squared is negative 3, x is negative 11, and the constant is just a 6. And then here you place the 3. And then you just do synthetic division. So you bring the 2 down, and then you do 2 times 3, which is 6. And then again, then you just add straight down. Negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. Then 3 times 3 is 9. And then again, you just add straight down. So you're going to have your negative 11 plus 9, which will give us a negative 2. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then you just add straight down. So you end up with a value of 0. That's the way it should be because 3 is our root, so the remainder should be 0. Now, remember since 2x cubed, x cubed is the highest power, then the 2 here corresponds to x squared, that power of x. So we can rewrite the left side as follows. We can say it's 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, multiplying this factor of x minus 3 from here. So x minus 3, and this whole thing is equal to 0. We can continue solving from here as follows then. We can factor this trinomial, so you can do it very likely quickly in your head, but if not, let me remind you, you would do something like 2 times negative 2, that would be negative 4. Just multiply whatever this is by this is, by that rather, that gives you negative 4. Then you look for two numbers that multiply to negative 4, and the same two numbers have to add up to the positive 3 in the middle. So it's pretty quickly found that it's the case with negative 1 and positive 4, because multiplying gives negative 4, and negative 1 plus 4 gives us 3, which is the coefficient in the middle. So that means you can write the left side here as 2x squared, and then we write that as plus 4x, and then minus 1x essentially, and then minus 2 multiplying x minus 3. And this is still equal to 0. Then you continue between 2x squared and positive 4x using grouping. You can factor as follows, bracket pull out 2x out, and then you do the division, or however you know how to factor. So 2x squared divided by 2x is x, 4x divided by 2x is just 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2x divided by x is 1. Between negative 1x and negative 2, you pull a negative 1 out. What's left within there is negative x divided by negative 1, which is x, negative 2 divided by negative 1, which is positive 2, and then you keep the other factor of x minus 3 for now, set that equal to 0. Now, here, 2x and negative 1 can be combined into a single factor. So you're going to have, in other words, 2x minus 1, and then x plus 2, and then x minus 3, and this whole thing is equal to 0 still. Now, just set each factor to 0 and solve. So 2x minus 1 must be 0, or x plus 2 is 0, or x minus 3 is 0. So from this one, you're going to do 2x equals 1, just add 1, and then divide by 2, so you're going to have x equals 1 half, subtract 2, so x equals negative 2, add 3, so x equals positive 3, and then x equals 3, x equals negative 2, and x equals 1 half, let me stress that these are the answers. Thank you, subscribe, share, and like.